All right, folks. Um, it's not really an unboxing. I received these Edifier, uh, what's it, RI 12 AD DBS speakers. Um, there's the manual. It's not really an unboxing, like I said. I've already unboxed it. Um, forgive the sound of my uh, ring cameras going off there. Um, came with speaker wire. Came with RCA cable. Came with the one eighth to RCA cable, an optical cable, and the manual. But I uh, and the remote. Don't let's forget the remote. Um, this is like I said, not really an unboxing. This is just an overview of the speakers. So you have one active, powered, and the passive. Um, they both have these. Uh, Covers speaker which I like protects the actual drivers. I'll attempt to take one off here. Everyone I've seen reviews these before said this is very tight, so bear with me as I take it off because I definitely don't want to damage it. I, I'm one of those people who wants to leave it on because of dust and stuff in an older home. So you can see this is the passive one. There's the sub driver, the tweeter, and the radiator, the passive uh, radiator, not radiator. Porthole. They've got the badge on the on the bottom, the branding, which I like because it's also on the you know on the on the cover here. So if you decide to use the speakers with the cover, and it's not it's not written right. It's it's a um I guess some kind of uh, material. Now when I say material, solid plastic, like it's an emblem. And there's something in the middle here too. This this is more of a, just a design line, but this is raised. I can feel it like it's an emblem that's on there. And the same thing here, but if you decide to use them with the covers on, you can see the branding. If you decide to use them with the covers off, you can still see the branding, right? On the back of the passive, just the speaker connectors, right? And obviously I'm gonna put that aside because that's not the one with the, um, with the power, you know, with the amp and stuff in it. Uh, both of them, I'm over to this one, both of them have these rubber uh, compression-y type feet at the bottom. This is the the, the active one. Uh, let me go to the back. For, oh, let me go to the side first. You've got three knobs and an LED at the bottom. You got the treble knob, which feels it, you can feel the clicks for each, each level. You've got the bass knob, Clicks again for each level. You've got the volume and input. So volume is turning and this does click and then input, you can press it down. You can probably hear that and change the input selections. On the back, here we've got um, the RCAs, right? They did send um, RCA cables. So you've got line one and line two um, that you can use. You've got the speaker cables, so the speaker wires go in here, speaker terminals. Speaker wires go in here and go to the passive. On off power switch, optical port, and they did send the optical cable. So if you're gonna use it with your TV as one of the options, which I'm gonna at least, I'm gonna put the optical in here. And then I'm also gonna use the Bluetooth. And then they sent this uh, 3.5 millimeter to RCA, which is the sub out, right? I already have a, a sub running to the location where I'm gonna have this, so I'm gonna use the cable I have, but it's exactly like this. And the power cable. Um, that's about it. I love the fact that um, the black and brown look as opposed to some people I've seen with totally black. Uh, some sort of veneer, I guess, but it feels, like it's got a texture to it. And the look, the contrast, of the black and the brown just work very well. So I'm going to hook this up. One of the sources is going to be my TV. The other one is going to be streaming via Bluetooth. Uh, I believe it does have Bluetooth, yes. And um, I'll continue this once I've tested them and, you know, let you know what I think of them. It also has the remote, like I said. The remote has, oh, let me, let me peel this. It's got this plastic covering on it. Protection. And it's got a, what's probably, uh, what's that, the RS-232 is it? It's got like the watch battery, I think, because it's got the 
plastic piece you pull out to, for the, to use the battery for the first time for it to make contact. It's got a mute button. It's got Bluetooth button. A choice for optical or coax, line one or line two. On or off power for the speakers. Um, and I guess the on off is the... Is the uh, I have to figure out what that's for. And it's got up, down, you know, play, pause, etc. Right? So, as I said, I'll hook it up. And I'll come back with you. I'll tell you everything that I tested and what it sounded like and whether I recommend them or not.